Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So today, as usual, we are going to be working on the Accord. Sitting very pretty. And today is quite special. As you read in the title, we're doing brakes. We have some HEL breaded brake lines, Intima SR pads. So these are like a street track pad, sort of like a blend. So these are our new brake calipers that are going on the car. Very sexy, very blue spoon monocoque calipers, four pistons. Ain't she pretty? We've obviously got two of them. Um, at this stage, we're just gonna be retaining the standard rotors. The first events we're entering in is just the rally sprint. Um, so it's not too heavy duty and yeah just the standard rotors should do fine for a number of those with a good quality pad and we've also got rbf 600 fluid so we're going to flush all the old crappy fluid out the brake lines will be doing front and rear so that'll help us clear it all out and, and get it all for all fresh and, and and new i think that's pretty much it so let's get into it the car is now up in the air and we can get started as always use your jack stands and all that sort of business so it's pretty straightforward what we need to do here today actually it won't take very long bolt here and then there's another one down there so those two bolts actually hold the caliper on disconnect those and the whole caliper and everything will come off obviously we disconnect the um, rubber hose line here the spoons then come with a bracket and that sits on the back here and then connects to the caliper itself it should be pretty straightforward it's not going to take long at all actually and uh, while we're here uh, we can clean up So if you guys remember in one of the earlier videos, uh, we had to change out the CV joint uh, We did change it out. We just never actually properly cleaned up So I'm going to just clean that up as well while we're here because it's kind of gross Anyway First things first take the brake off Okay, so the stock caliper is off the car now. The brake fluid's slowly draining out of the rubber hose, so I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit. We're gonna fit up the new spoon calipers uh, with the brackets, and I'll show you those now. The spoon calipers come with a complete kit, as you can see here. So you've got one bracket for each side, brand new bolts, washers, nuts, everything. There's also an additional package that came with the spoon kit. These are basically caliper spacers. Um, so you can see right here where the bracket goes on it just will space it out so it sits correctly What that'll do is make sure that when this is on the car the rotor is going to be directly in the middle in the center So you'll get even pressure on the brakes from both the back and the front side of it The kit also comes with some instructions and by instructions. I mean just tips It shows you where the placement of the washers should be what the torque setting should be these top ones are only going to be 53.9 these bolting into the brackets are going to be 108 newton meters right here it mentions that we need to fixing the back plate use an saw or such to cut off the section a section uh, which interferes with the back plate and then it has some information on how to bleed the brakes and also how to fit up the brake pads i'm out race is here say hi race with his mad evo all right so what i end up doing is just using um some metal cutters and stuff like that get the dust shield out of the way it's all right it's not the prettiest thing ever but like literally it doesn't matter okay so here's the caliper here here's the bracket so that's gonna sit like that on there i think it seems to be an all right way to bolt the calipers on oh no, so the bracket's on. It is a bit tight, but it doesn't touch, so I guess they know what they're doing. Schlick bit of kit. Now that the bracket's on, we can uh, put the caliper on. Okay, so this is the correct side, um, you know, because the bleed nipples need to be at the top of the caliper. God, this is tight as. Well, oh, yeah? There you go. All right, now we just need to find the right tool to tighten that up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks fresh, mate. All right, so we're just gonna um, do everything by the specs which is unusual for this YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, we're actually going to talk things properly.
now what we can do is change out the brake line and finish it off. Let's go grab that. So I need to loosen this off and then that will drop this out. And that'll fall down the bottom there, see? So I need to loosen that off, but I don't have that proper thingy you You know how you guys have that sweet? The ones that I have at home that yeah. you probably should ask me to bring when I was coming yeah. out. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. It'll, it'll, it'll work, but there's definitely a better tool for the job. Look how gunky that is. Look, even inside it. Oh. That's full of shit. Good time to upgrade. Yeah, buddy. So this will go through here. Why is that bit flat? Maybe I'll do it that way. Alright, so we've got uh, the top tightened in. Just put the bracket back on. Make sure you do this because otherwise your brake line will rub against your CV joint or your axle and then your brakes will fail at turn one. We're going to put the brake line into the back of the carper. So you've got a washer on each side of that. Like so. And then that just bolts into the back of the caliper. That doesn't need to be too tight either. You don't want to over tighten that. Plus you'll be able to tell straight away if it's not tight enough because it'll leak profusely. Yep. So that's that. That was way tight. They must just do it when they're shipping it, I don't know. Yeah, that is tight. I mean, it, you don't want to go in anywhere, but... Yeah, that's the next level. You know what I've noticed? The stock brakes also say this Nissan thing on it. You see that? That mean it has factory spoon brakes. Or just spoon brakes are made by the same people. Maybe. Maybe. Now how's it work with this thing? Um I'm not completely sure. Do we have to take that off? Looks like it. Okay, I forget where I last videoed because it's just been hours of fucking around. But essentially, the, like the lines are all on, that's all good. Everything bolts up, but the issue is that the pistons on the inside of the calipers see how they stick out just the tiniest bit and we can't get it to go flush which means the brake pads don't fit properly which means they're jammed up against the rotor which means the car won't move um so i'm gonna give up on it for now we've got to do some research got to figure out why this is happening and uh, we'll come back to it and try and try and fix it later, maybe tomorrow. Okay team, day two of trying to get these brakes in. So, um, the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So what we've done is actually bought different rotors uh, and new pads again. And hopefully these will work. So these are just some RDA blank discs. I've seen these on a setup before, so I know they should work. Are they black? Yeah. Oh shit, that's sick. No, they're black until... Oh, until they wear in? Yeah. Oh, that's so not as cool. Clean. But the, the center will stay black. Though. That's not as cool. I wish they would stay black, because that'd be sick. <laughs> stay black the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> stop the car. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to try these, and hopefully these work, because if they don't, I will KMS. All right, so we test fitted up the um, the rotors with the calipers on, you know, with the new pads off the car, and we know they fit. So we're just applying brake cleaner, getting the seal off the top of them, and then we can just fit everything up. And we should, theoretically, finally, 
have brakes. Do we have a, do we have a business idea, Brian? Black rotors. Yeah. That's not, mate. Never seen black rotors before. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I do like it. Does it add like five extra horsepower? What's the go? Yeah, that's it, mate. Killer wasps. Is that um the caliper coated him? Is that like a two pack They're or anodized? Ooh. Anodized. One pad. <laughs> two pads. No, 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 it's not in here. No, 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 no. Two pads. Two pads. Two pads. Put our little brachito on. Now we can refit our brake line. It's on! I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. Swear. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. Oh, yes! Oh, I feel so relieved. I'm glad you're on, mate. Oh, I was literally. Friday was excellent. I was, yeah. I was suicidal at the end of Friday. I wonder if everyone can tell from my video. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Can you see my dying soul? So what's the difference between these rotors and the others? Um, for some reason these are slightly thinner than the ones that were on there. And by slightly I mean like 0.3 to 0.5 of a mil. How many subscribers are you at now? We're almost at a thousand. Oh, nice. This is good, because... Hit me up on the face here. Like I said, once we get to 1,000 subs, we're gonna do a, um, a meet. So we'll just do it out at T-Way or something. It'll be good. So yeah, 1,000 subs, we're doing a meet. Sydney meet, it'll be good. You gonna come up out? Yes. You gonna bring Ed or the Evo? Is the Evo gonna be fixed? Um, give it 12 months and I'll be there. A month? 12. 12. So this guy had tire riding and on the top pad it had- um, Sit down. Sit down and then on the bottom it said be humble. <laughs> And he was driving along, sit down, be humble. And it was like a USDM stance for Evo. That's heck he, he was trying to get your attention so bad. He's like, no, just me, Senpai. Because we were in that Evo. And obviously that is much superior. Yeah, it was like white running like chrome green XXRs. Oh, that's hot. And it was sacked. Like it was on the ground. How's the brake boosters in these? Do you need to... Should be fine. Them? Fairly similar to stock in terms of size, except you go into four instead of two piston. But you're, main, you're maintaining 282 sized rotors. So it's not like earth shatteringly different. It just will help a lot with brake fade and that sort of thing. Sure. And obviously bite your pads and that'll help with actual braking performance. Let's get into blending the brakes. Yes. Okay, it's getting really dark now. Um, so we're gonna do a quick bleed of the brakes, quite simple, do the furthest away from the reservoir to the closest, um, and then we'll go through the car twice, just to make sure there's no air in the system because it's all near line. Um, we won't bother filming it because it's gonna be too dark anyway, um, but then we'll do a, a, a break into the pads and a drive test and you guys can come along for that one. You. Okay, so we're in the car, the brakes seem to work. Um, so we're gonna do the, um, the bed-in procedure as per the Intima brake pads information kit. I don't know how else you would say it. So eight to 10 slowdowns applying moderate pressure from approximately 60 cams without coming to a complete stop. So let's do that then. Let's, let's get going. So approximately 60. pressure there. All right, so now what's next? Make additional two to three slowdowns applying heavy pressure from approximately 70 without stopping. Do not drag brakes. 
What does drag brakes mean? Don't. Like trail braking? I I'd say so, yeah. So it's like stop and then like let go. go. Yeah. So from 70, a bit higher. How about brace yourself, mate? <laughs> I've already got my Jesus handles, it's all good. Yeah, I told you these tires will be outbreaks now. ABS will be kicking in. Yeah. Definitely pulls up. That was, oh, a, that was that a better one. Nice. Yeah. That was better. Alright, so that was three. Allow 15 minutes for the brake system to cool down. After step three, your new pads are ready for use. So, just that drive was it. it. That was it. Alright guys, so that'll do it for this video. Um, it's a bit disjointed, but there was a lot of things where I was going back and forth, trying to fix things, trying to work out what wasn't working. Uh, but in the end, the brakes feel really good. I'm excited to get them out. Definitely the pedal feel is it's quite soft um, and almost stock-like normally but when you press hard on it it gets really hard really quick and the car pulls up um, but definitely the tires are now out braked so that'll have to get fixed as well but um thank you guys as always for watching really appreciate it feel free to like comment and subscribe um we're really close to that 1000 sub count uh, so i'll be organizing a meet hopefully before the end of this year which would be awesome if you guys could come out and we could uh you know, check out some of your cars and all that sort of stuff. I think that'd be cool. Um, but otherwise, um, see you next time and do your math homework.